Workspaces are a brand new feature in ProPresenter version 20 that allow entirely separate ProPresenter configurations to be accessed by the push of a button. It's this button here in the top right, click status, then switch between workspaces. This is not just a separate library to store content, but an entirely separate set of media, macros, looks that can be set up for weekend services, then a different workspace for midweek events. When you change the workspace, an entirely different ProPresenter configuration folder is being accessed. Hi everybody, I'm Nathan from Crazy Amazing Designs. I train and equip leaders, like yourself, to do church tech and event production with excellence. Thanks for checking out this video. Here, I just installed this new ProPresenter setup. With the base install, nothing is here. So I'm gonna bring in my pre-built ProPresenter template by adding it as a second workspace. Go to Settings, General, then under Active Workspace, select Manage Workspaces. With this new install, I'll just see the one default ProPresenter workspace, but I want to point out to you the new path. Until version 20, ProPresenter files have always been stored in the Documents folder. Managing what is now called Workspaces was a manual process of renaming files. I'm going to import my ProPresenter template, so click on the plus, then for any folders not generated by ProPresenter, it's going to be called Import Legacy ProPresenter Folder. Now I can navigate to the ProPresenter template CAD folder, Crazy Amazing Designs, that I downloaded, which I stuck in my Documents folder. I'll select that, click Done, and now with one click, I can switch between the default workspace and this new template workspace. Within just a moment, we went from a blank ProPresenter setup to my template, which if you're interested, you can purchase it at crazyamazingdesigns.com. This template is filled with pre-built looks, stage layouts, macros, even this multi-view. Create a Sunday playlist and add your songs. Place the worship macro on the first slide to set the looks for the main output with the background and center text for the stream output to be lower thirds, and then the stage display output, all formatted using looks to send the correct content where you need it to go. Next is the sermon. Okay, add the sermon or full screen macro to the next slide, and all three outputs are now gonna show the full screen content. Actually, we have a video before the sermon, so drag the video macro to the slide and show the video with a timer on the stage display screen. The template is super handy for running ProPresenter. Close out of this general page in the top right near status, I can now toggle between the configured workspaces from this dropdown. ProPresenter has always stored its files in a computer's documents folder in a folder called ProPresenter. In the past, there was ProPresenter 5, then ProPresenter 6, now just finally ProPresenter. With this release of version 20, the default generated folder, ProPresenter, has been moved from documents to a new path. And this is what the new path looks like. You can name it whatever you want, which is why I called mine name of file used to be in documents. The new ProPresenter installs will be placed in this folder at the new path, but we can still import old files now called legacy folders. Legacy folders are not gonna be moved into this user workspace folder unless done manually. This is a crazy change because folders that can now contain ProPresenter files on your computer can now be called anything. The only way to know if they're active is to go to the manage workspaces settings and see if they exist on this list, meaning they're being used by ProPresenter, and then I guess you have to ask a member of the team, hey, are you switching to this workspace ever? Very interesting. Now that you see how easy it is to switch between workspaces, you can create new workspaces for different groups of people using the same computer, but it will just be a blank shell. The screen configuration settings won't even be present, just like when we started with a new ProPresenter setup. Most all settings are unique to each workspace. Network settings are gonna need reactivated, devices will need reset up for like MIDI and different things. Licensing will carry over between workspaces and this computer will always be considered one license. Workspaces auto save like everything else in ProPresenter so users are free to switch between workspaces and not risk losing any data. To avoid starting your ProPresenter journey from scratch, go ahead and pick up my ProPresenter template which is gonna give you a bunch of pre-built stuff. That is why if you have a setup that is working well, there is no sense in rebuilding it just to have a workspace for other users. That is why I'm going to show you how to duplicate any working workspace like my template and then modify it. This way we are duplicating the screen configuration settings instead of remembering how that was set up on the other workspace. 
go to settings general and open manage workspaces here select the workspace you'd like to duplicate then in the circle with the three dots click duplicate then give the duplicated workspace a name with the new workspace you can delete all the old playlists media non-used themes looks etc customize it for the group it's being used for and simplify it if it doesn't need to be doing things like live streaming. We've talked about the new file location for ProPresenter version 20. Now let's look at how to back up files. Currently the best option is to go to settings, general, go to manage workspaces, select a workspace and select open in finder. This opens the selected workspace and to make a backup, you can copy and paste this folder to a storage device or other computer and to import it back into this computer or another, you're going to import it as a legacy folder. ProPresenter is not cloud enabled. I would not be surprised if this comes in the future, but as of version 20, it does not support cloud backups or cloud storage of these files. You need to physically move the folder to a different computer or upload it to Dropbox or Google Drive. I also don't recommend running the ProPresenter files out of a cloud sync folder. There's just too many issues that end up coming up with that. When ProPresenter 7.0 released, libraries allowed us to separate songs and presentations to be used by different users on the same computer. Workspaces takes this to a new level, even allowing screens to be configured differently as I switch between workspaces. This means I can take my laptop, connect it to a Decklink Duo 2 for our main service. This gives me access to four SDI outputs or inputs from the computer. Main screen, key and fill to the switcher, then stage display output. With the Sunday workspace, the Decklink with four displays are ready to go. Then I switch workspaces for my Bible study workspace where I connect the output of my laptop to a TV via HDMI. In this Bible study workspace, none of the macros, looks, themes exist that allow me to live stream, and I don't have to change the screen configuration away from the deck link outputs to connect the display via USB-C to HDMI. Even on the same computer with the same setup, you can now change things based on what they need to look like for ProPresenter to do what it needs to do to account for the event the workspace is designed for. From what I can see, nothing about workspace management has been added to the ProPresenter API. That's the thing that allows us to talk to and from ProPresenter and control different functions. This means workspaces can't be switched from anywhere other than inside of the ProPresenter application, not on the new remote app, not from BitFocus companion buttons or Stream Deck. I think this is gonna remain like this in the future. This high level functionality could cause serious problems if triggered during a service. Think about it this way. Switching workspaces mid-service isn't like clicking between songs or even adding songs to a playlist mid-service. It's like swapping cars while driving at 70 miles an hour. Different engine, different tires, maybe the new setup forgot to install the steering wheel. That would be a problem. ProPresenter would have no idea what screens, macros, or outputs were previously active. It would break the live stream. So it's by design that workspaces are a manual change. They're meant for setups, not live switching. Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video. I'm excited for what is new in ProPresenter version 20. If you found value in this video, please subscribe to see future videos. Go check out my other video on ProPresenter Remote, which is this awesome new remote app that you can use to control ProPresenter. Thanks so much, I'll see you next time, bye.